We're gonna start out with a little bit of pasticcio, which is like the Greek version of lasagna. I have ground beef here, 80-20 ground beef. I have my grill, live coals all the way across because I'm using the grill as a stove top right now. This would be like having the burners on your stove turned on high to medium high. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and we'll start cooking in it right before that olive oil starts to smoke. Next, we are going to get our meat seasoned. When my mom used to make this when we were kids, often it was just lamb in it. You could also do this with ground turkey, ground chicken, and you could even use diced eggplant. So we season one side of the beef, Give it a little flip, get the other side seasoned. It's about a tablespoon of salt. Crack black pepper. And now we're gonna just take this and throw it right into our pan that is now nice and hot. And we're not gonna move it around once we get it in there. We're gonna let it start to brown. So I'm gonna put in a half teaspoon of Aleppo pepper. Has some sweetness, also has some cumin undertones to it, which I very much enjoy. And the cinnamon goes in there. Mmm, it smells so good. Cinnamon goes with meat and tomato sauces very often. It's very common in Greek cuisine. So now, I'm gonna see if my meat is brown. See how that has that great browning on there, Liz? Can oh, yeah, that? yep. That's what you want. Now we just take our potato masher, and we're gonna just start mashing it up. And this is so you just get it all broken up in there. Then I add my onions, and I let the onions sweat and break down in that additional kind of beef fat that came out. Then I don't have to worry about my onions burning mm -hmm. to get my meat brown. We're gonna throw our thyme in here, little bundle of thyme. We're gonna deglaze the pan with the white wine. Any of those brown bits that stuck to the bottom are just going to come up when we deglaze. We add our crushed tomatoes. You always have a little bit of remnant in there. So just take your water, get you clean out your can. Genius. All the goodies are now in the pot. And this is gonna simmer away now for about 30 minutes. And we're gonna start building our bechamel. We're gonna let the butter just melt. Once it melts, then we're gonna add the same amount of flour as we have butter. And then we stir this together. The main thing you're looking for is you're looking for a wet sand consistency. So I put in about a third of my milk. And I whisk it until this comes back up to a simmer and is smooth. And as that is happening, we are gonna season it with salt, a four finger pinch with nutmeg. Ooh, nutmeg. Secret ingredient, cracked black pepper. That's when you could add your next chunk of milk. And so you're just going like a third at a time? Or? Third at a time. And we're gonna okay. do the same thing. We're gonna whisk, it's gonna thicken. Once it's thickened, we're gonna add the next batch of milk and we're good. So now normally I would cook a bechamel for 45 minutes. Um, in this case, we're gonna cook it a little bit less because it's gonna bake in with the pasta, which is gonna give it that extra cooking time. So the next thing I have to do is I'm gonna take off my bechamel for a second and my meat sauce for a second. And we're going to move our pasta water over to our hot grill. Over here, I have my offset grill, and this is more of a simmering situation, so these could just hang out here. To this, I'm gonna add a good two full pinches of salt. Always season your pasta water. What I wanna do is I wanna cook this in a pot that is the same length as my noodles, so they cook straight. The water's boiling, the water is salted, and I'm gonna set them straight in, and we're not gonna move them, stir them, anything. Cooked it to about four minutes less than the instructions, so it's still very al dente. We are gonna take off our meat sauce that has cooked down. You could see how it's gotten nice and thick now. Our bechamel has simmered, and we still have to add the cheese and the eggs to that. Now, you could do this in a lasagna or casserole type of pan. That you, like, you try your best to kind of keep the noodles straight when you pull them out. That's why if they're a little al dente, they're easier to work easier. with. So I kind of, you know, get them arranged in there. And as you lay them out, you want to get them all facing as much the same direction as you can. They have a little bit of melted butter. This is perfect because you could arrange as right, I'm sure. A little bit of cracked black pepper. So far, everything I like. It's already salted butter because we salted the water. Pasta. And then sheep's milk cheese. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our meat sauce. So. Unlike lasagna, you're not actually layering this. Yeah, you build it a layer at a time, so when you cut it, you could see all these layers. Do you want these guys out? In here, yeah, I'm gonna take out the thyme. Okay. 
So then you crack the eggs. So this is cool enough that you don't really need to temper the you eggs? You don't have to temper because I took it off the heat, let the temperature come down. If, if your cream sauce is a little bit on the hot side, put a little bit of the cream sauce in the eggs first. But we're good here. Hot. And then you whisk this. And this is just going to make it nice and custardy. Very custardy. Eggs. So then this goes on top. Look at it. It's a beauty. All right, so I'm going to get the pasticcio. This has been going for about an hour. You can see. Don't drop the top. it. I know, that would be really bad. <laughs> it's got nice and golden on top. I feel it always has to sit for minimally, you know, 20 minutes, but up to an hour. So I'm going to go around the edge. And you can see that custard just set up. OK, then we say a quick prayer. OK, slide off. Come on. Did it. Did it. Now this is ready to go, and you can see all those different layers in there. I tend to cut these a little bit bigger always, and you're like, what is wrong with I you? I know. Our granddaughter was here, and he literally gave her a piece this big. She's two. She looked hungry. OK. Hi. Okay. I'm excited. <gasps> look at it. So Yum. you can see, when you look at it, you get the layers. Second piece is always easier. You get the layers of the noodles, the look, custard, look at how and the pretty. meat. OK, so let's try our <coughs> pasticcio. OK. Oh, it's good. You get the creaminess of the bechamel, the cinnamon flavor from the meat, the nutmeg. I love the cinnamon element in this. Unlike lasagna, it has a touch of texture. And I think that might be why I enjoy it even a little bit more than lasagna. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious.